Whoa, okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Hey, Fumi. You're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? <laughs> ha! Did I? The cold-blooded killing machine in the underworld. Whatever fall in love, that's... Well, it would Wait. Seem... No way. It, is this love? According to the spirits... What happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once? And that guy was seriously hit over heels for a mannequin. Yeah, <laughs> what are you and everything? <laughs> Damn. And your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing. Shut up! She's not a mannequin! She's an angel! I feel as if she <laughs> I feel as if you shouldn't bother telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Uh. Yeah, you're totally in love. So, how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning... I just wanted to hear her say Master one more time. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a well designed program and it was like how can I say Erotic. it was the first time I I was able to talk like that with a normal girl <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl nor is she even a girl <laughs> semantics Absolute semantics. Shenanigans, more like it. Well, that that word too. Yeah. But even still, I don't have that much problem. So this is still not me. So, fuck <sighs> off. You're always your best friend. <coughs> help your best friend. <laughs> Why would I help you? D dig your own. Dig yourself out of your I own grave. I'm your best friend in this game, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I died off a long time ago, if I was anybody in this Oh, uh, you were Leon? I, I could be Leon, I could be Mondo, as far as I know. But oh, like... you were not Mondo, go fuck yourself. <laughs> for, all I, for all I know, or care, you could have been Sayaka. I have one! <laughs> I mean, no, I swear more often than sing as a Popeye. Oh, but, okay. oh, oh. Uh -huh. I got it. You think you're Junko. <laughs> Junko, I wish. I <laughs> Hell, Mother Beat was there. <laughs> that was the most tragic death in this whole game. Don't at me. Don't <laughs> even fucking at me. <laughs> I'm still mad about that one. <laughs> I just fucking did. Your mom says stuff like that to you? It's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> it's like... That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it... I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well, even the no. keyboard? <sighs> Especially the keyboard. Have, I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Are you okay with this? Also, Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about for what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. I know that. I know. I mean, I do know that. But still... Are you saying it's totally hopeless, or...? You gotta be freaking <laughs> kidding me! You. Oh god! <laughs> hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber-jabber on about whatever. Yo. Oh my god. Oh, Taka, are you back? Yeah. Who the hell's Taka? Huh? 
Um, I think we can enter you. <laughs> Listen up, I'm me, got it? What the heck? I told you it's you. What? He lives as me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull crap me. Isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo. So like, Kiondo, I guess. Kiondo Wait. Reeves. What? Well, what character? <laughs> I'm Keanu Reeves. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm stick a banana up you. your tailpipe. And by banana, I mean my penis. <laughs> Shaped like a diamond. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> I die for this Mondo. What's happening, Yutaka? Actually. Told everyone what had happened the day before. Well then. So because of what Alter Ego said to him? Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh, <laughs> that's ghost no, 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 there's no such thing! What are y'all whining about? Come on! God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, it's for me! Oh shit. Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't know what you're thinking, but... You. Bro belongs to me. Huh? Yeah. Oh, there you go. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. <laughs> and I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again! Fudging idiot! What? <laughs> I told you fucking PG. I knew it! <laughs> oh, shit. Even Ultra Instinct, he can't go any higher than PG-13. What the fuck? Exactly, bro. You gotta break the limit. You gotta, you gotta be the limit breaker, so... <laughs> I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru? Since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. That's it. I'm sure of it. Destiny has bound me and her together in the Gordian Knot of True Love! Gordian! Well, me and him have been melted together in the white hot heat of friendship! Even, huh? Hey, come on, you guys. Moron! Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points! Four? Well, I punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm hair. There's, uh, there's no drag. Enough already. This guy. Oh, best kill. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, they'll have to deal with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Anyway. See, that's the fight I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? I can't hear you. I. I, I can't. Uh... Yes. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay, then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. You'll be fine. Free time! Yay! All right, so who is it? <clears throat> well, not being biased or anything, but I want it to be Hina because I want to see those donuts. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. So <laughs> but my boy what, has a hot dog right now and is waiting for some donuts. Shit. The one with the holes. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
wonder if I have any for gifts. Well, as far as I saw in your inventory, you had the um, over overflowing lunchbox. I feel like that would be one. But she loves eating, I can tell you that. Either that or anything like swim related. Because you'd be open swimmer. Oh, by the way, next time you talk to Byakuya, you should give him the golden gun. <laughs> Guess we're shifting to I don't. Huh? I don't have any of her gifts. Nothing food related? I could have sworn I thought something food related. Yeah, but it's not one of her gifts. Yeah, it, it, I think it is. Like, if it's food related. Well, according to the site, there are five gifts that... You can give her. That are the best. Mm hmm They are the donut floaty ring, the kitty hairpin, yeah. G sick, mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. love, and radio coon mm -hmm. doll. And I have none of them. Whoa. I guess gotcha machine to go go then? Even though I think like you have some of the neutral items and those ones aren't that bad. No, the rose but... in vitro works on every character, and yeah, well, uh, does it? Yeah, from what I remember. Oh, I have two of them. Okay. Now where? But then again, like you give her the tomato pants, so that should be funny for us. I feel like potato chips would work too. Like, fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like the junk food would work 100%. But... Mm -hmm. so I don't know what that size trying to is, but. Oh well. Yeah, let's. We'll do a quick test of luck. Yep. She's not in the kitchen! No. God damn! Is it glad we go go? Fifty fifty chance of getting repeats. And of course, first try I got a repeat. I guess you give it three tries. <laughs> you get like repeats from that stuff. Didn't get three repeats in a row, so I'm gonna keep going. Got the telemarketer. That's mm -hmm. tough. When I get three repeats in a row, then I'm, I'll stop. I know. But if I'm right, the presents carry over to when you play through, right? Yeah. Uh, because there is after game stuff. Yeah. Or not after game, but extra. Well, so pretty much you, you, you like take on all the characters on dates, you know? That's like a mm. dating play. Okay. Where you truly go all the way. Yeah, what the hell is that? One. Two. 
to... I guess when you reach 100 and stop, you know, just stay on the 100. Yeah. Oh, hey! You got something? Well, I got another golden gun. Hey! Resident Shooter fucking... <laughs> Again. Both, uh... All right. uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the uh, the rose and see if I'm right about the. Song to. <laughs> like, shit. Huh. like, if you didn't finish the shout, you could like, totally get it to kill you. Yeah. Really? What? Well, then, I still didn't get any of her items. Well, yeah, yeah. shit. I would have told you if she would have because you, you listed them to me and that wasn't, that wasn't any of them. But you got Man's Fantasy again, you know? You're welcome, by the way, Silver. Hmm. Oh, well. I wonder if you, like one of the items are like a Kama Sutra. Because <laughs> that would be a fucking funny ass gift to give somebody. Yeah, right? Like, here's a book of all these sex positions, because I'm trying to go in deep. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Especially on the fucking last one. But it's fucking, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Boy, I mean, the physics fell my guy. Oh. It's just the hallway of the physics side. I think she's actually in the building where it had the purifier. She's not, it says she's in the hallway. That's what it said? Yeah. No. Sakura. Found her. Ah, yes, the queen accepts this royal tribute. <laughs> hey, just kidding. Thanks, Makoto. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Oh, man, oh, man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come does it matter? Now that I'm rubbed up, I need to get it out. Let's race. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. <laughs> Really? Well, I don't mind the solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, no, I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. 
super spaz? Yeah. Yeah, like he'd seen me he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you aren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? Getting sick is for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type who gets sick easily? Actually, yeah. See? You're soft. You need more training. Okay. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you as fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist and take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. <laughs> I call it, I call it, uh, what do I call it again? <laughs> a way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin? What do you call it, though? <sighs> sounds like a towel treatment. Is it something like towel treatment? You got it! Oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going out of my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. Hoo! Giggity giggity goo! I'm surprised you didn't beat your bamboo already, so <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike you, I know how to behave. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> You should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch cold or something. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Ah. Okay. But no new ability. See that? Action. I think it's second that free time. Yeah. I think it's actually oh, yeah, a second. second. I think so. I don't know. Well, I guess you got your options. You can be berated by Biakia, or you can, you know, be the clown and actually get into that bamboo beatdown shit. But. Huh. What do you want? Yeah, I think this time when you use uh, potato chips, if you're gonna use a, uh, you're gonna use a uh, there again. Where is she? Wow. Well, no, I'll wait until I actually have her proper gift. Trust me, it works. I'm saying it works so. Hard. I think the proper ones only work, like, I mean, are good if it's, like, you know, the final. So, like, the first, like, two domes don't matter. I would say, mm. but the other ones don't matter. Golden gun. So, in other words, just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Is this a monologue or something? Okay. But I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Tsogami Corporation reaches across the world, true. But I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. 
<laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over four billion dollars. Separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words. The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single yes. day. Surely even someone as simple minded as you has heard of this technique. Talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's not—it's really not a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but our high school is even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Byakuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Tsugami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, <laughs> right? I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Byakia. Maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? Hmm. Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Biakko's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. The maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Still reeling from Biakko's story, I went back to my room. And now for another episode of Monokuma Theater! Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy. I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating. So. New day sucks. New day sucks. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. Yes, it is. I miss Legacy. Me too. <laughs> Good market ready to gr See, now you know why I hate Monokuma, is because of these fucking bing bong ding dongs. Like, I wish I could fucking get this guy at the Hall of Fame P, bro. <laughs> the Hall of Fame P. <laughs> yeah, he's in the building, you know. <laughs> I, might hit him, I might hit him with fucking, like, a twig. Because I'm spiritual. Oh, enough, shit. Really, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. Just got me fucked up. They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Huh. Don't put me on the same level as that. That virgin. I might catch his virginity. But now nah, my guess is you're already infected. <laughs> Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as my hands approach my food. 
Oh god damn it. Oh fuck, not so this again. End, that's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing You're red lingerie me. today. <laughs> Uh, I don't oh, yeah, think anyone anyone wanted to know. Hold on a second, you. Huh? Hmm. Have you reached that certain age? You no be. They're seriously gargantuan. Do you dunk up the milk every night or something? You, you're starting to freak <laughs> me out. No forgiveness. Love them though. <laughs> if you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. So, what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Mm. What? Why not? Because of certain circumstances. Up to now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. It's all clear. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. Oh, shit. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? Hitler. But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? Th that's not what we're doing. That's well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. Michinoku. Mondo. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste! You don't have to say it like that! I see. <laughs> <laughs> Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting. Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant you res your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have oh, to shit. play hard to get, <laughs> Master. You could just play hard. Oh shit. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, man, Biaki's getting that tongue action. You know, like, <laughs> so. He ran away, so now he's running hard to get. I see! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> so at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um. Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. <laughs> Don't tell me that another free time. Yep. Oh shit. You're fucking four free times in this fucking chapter? It must be because I'm not playing on a high difficulty. Maybe. Speaking of that, you're changing the difficulty whenever we fucking reach the trial. Cause you can do it like before the trial. <laughs> no, I don't feel like you're feeling that uh, hard when it comes to you know, the, uh, the questions out there. And you need to be. <laughs> yeah, cause I haven't gotten enough game overs already. Yeah, but it isn't because the game is difficult, it's because you suck at the mechanics of the game. I want you to be mentally fucked up. 
<laughs> not a fucking, you know. Fucked up because of this system. Okay. You looking for Hina? Now I have to go all the way to the other side of the building. Or the other side of the uh, floor. Because for some reason it puts you in the wrong area. Okay. Played you like a damn fiddle. Hmm. Bitch. He laps in the pool. I'm curious about something. No. Uh, where is it? 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 Oh, you do actually have that one in the point one. Yeah. But you got two potato chips, so. I have three potato chips, but that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> You're gonna give her the fucking Emperor's fucking. <laughs> not this early floor. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. I know, I no. know you want to. I want to try the water flute. Uh, if you want. She does like water. Uh. Well, worst case scenario, I fucked up. Yeah. I'm sorry, if it, if it doesn't work, then you know, the passive way to women's hearts, there's something. <laughs> that whole thing usually works. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I'm super stoked. I've reached my limit. I'm stuck in here, can't do any sports, can't do anything, I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps, run a marathon, I want to do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> but I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. Whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know. Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? Six? That's right. Six? Yeah, Nine. track, base, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big Wrestling. one? Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the big, under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. Challenge? What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement. That fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. 
the highest mountaintop. Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold. Even if it means I'm a super so. gold spaz. <laughs> Did she just call herself... Okay. But if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Excuses? Just a second. Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? <laughs> sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Oh. Th that's a challenge. You just made an official challenge. Yeah, totally. I challenge you to oh, all wow. fucking. <laughs> but I think you're right. <laughs> If I want to get the gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think we're going to do some push-ups in my room. Maybe around a thousand or something. Oh, shit. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Still no oh, skill God. from her. What the fuck? You gain the major skill sometimes at the end. You know, obviously. Yeah, but almost, but sometimes you... almost everyone else yeah. that's been in the beginning. I guess because I don't have that perfect gift. Probably. Shit. Well, all I'm gonna say is like, you know, she, you know, she, by the time you're done with her, man, her stamina's gonna be on a hundred, so, you know, when you bring <laughs> it to your room, that's... That's uh, oh, cool! <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> like, look at your bed, fucking generic as fuck. Like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Were you still on free time? Yeah. Oh shit! Hey, yeah, so, you know what? Fuck. Let's go back to that machine, bro. You're in that perfect game. Fucking. If it takes us all day, I don't give a fuck at this point. Okay. I just want to talk to you. Okay, good. No. I kind of, I kind of did, good. but I kind of want that skill also. But I think we have a mission. But like. So, we read the uh, items again? Because I know you said G6, you said like hairpin thing. Donut floaty ring, kitty hairpin, Donut, yeah. Yeah. G6, water mm -hmm. love, and radio coon doll. Radio coon doll. I thought you had like a radio, but maybe not that one. No, it's doll. Mm. That's a new one. Okay, you got a ring. You can ever put a ring on it. It's a 61% chance of repeat. Oh, it's like a deadly item. And a lucky. Oh, another baseball. <laughs> That's tragic. That's all I can say. Hey, you got a switch. Nintendo switch. Huh. Another golden gun. Oh, 
You got the soda? Donut? Donut? There might be a little donut floater in. Oh, that's a skull. Boom. Oh, you got a nudie mag too? Amazing. I guess not that 80, I guess. Another nudie mag. Because <laughs> all your nudie mags are fucking Biakia? Because you're pretty guy. At this point, you can kind of piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, I should wasn't even do that. I should have had a shitty item because you got the pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, first of all, give it like the pants because you got double the pants. Come on. 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 Alright, I can stop. Cause you already got the item that you want. Well, let's find out if we actually did. Dude, I think that is the donut floater. Kinda looks like the donut floater. Flotation yeah, donut. Like... Yep, that looks yeah. like it. Let's do it. Let's gain that fucking skill. Oh, first thing I thought that should say Coca-Cola. I was about to be like, <laughs> no, fuck out of here, that sponsorship. I did get it done, that double that's a fucking ring. Nice. I'm not even an edible donut. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Did you <laughs> click on it and then say no? You. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I realized I was on the wrong floor. Yeah, totally. Oh, never mind. You got it. Right. Let's see if that flotation do not lose. Huh? Can <laughs> you? That's not fucking Junpei. <laughs> This, right? Right? Yay! Ultra stoked! <laughs> Seeing nice. Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Aww. Hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Well. Woke up early on the normal this morning, so I decided to do a push up, sit up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Oh, that would explain it. Tired, so tired. I want something sweet. Oh Jesus! You got it. <laughs> um, yeah. There's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine, imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Just a second. Um. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about the donut effect, that's what they're talking about. That's absolutely not true. <laughs> ah, I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over Just here. A Hey, Canada! Good 
Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it. Oh. I'm not in the way. <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts! Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Why would you ever say it like that, Lord? <laughs> Wow, okay. It still never gave you the fucking thing? No. <laughs> Alright, then, see, there, so it's proven. So it's, uh, some characters you get in the beginning, some characters you get in the end. And there's something by the door. Yeah. Uh-oh. Are you about to die? This piece of paper. Looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meeting in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. What's wanting to meet up so suddenly? Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Well, time to go die. I'm off to get erect by the wonderful Wizard of Oz. My booty is blue. I'm about to fucking get destroyed. Yo! Oh, Makoto! Hero, the letter I found in my room? Hello? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is hmm. really nice. Well, I was always told that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet, meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko that. asked me. Kyoko? Uh, actually. I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? You know? Huh? Okay, let's do it. No, I. Serious. It's all an axe the mess, but I won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. I still can't get over this Ultra Instinct, uh, Taka. F you. Hey, you! How long you, were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared point, pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls! Mm -hmm. Sh shut up. What? <laughs> Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that's on you, Silver. <laughs> Hello, 911. I'd like to report a murder. I've murdered myself. Nah, at this point, Taka needs to fucking kill somebody in this game, bro. I <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? What the heck? A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven sent master. Oh. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyone, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? That's right. <sighs> it's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh, um... Huh? What? She's gone? You. <coughs> you can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with him? Mm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. 
If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well, well maybe we just missed however. it. I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then. <laughs> I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. Oh, fuck. It shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation. Er, wait a minute. It wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong, it's you! Serious. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? huh? Why not? So I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Fumi came into the dressing room. What what? what? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But And who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Afumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. Hmm. Interesting. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina. Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Dun dun dun. Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole <laughs> Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? <laughs> it can't be. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care! Anybody? I don't care who... Someone... Anyone... Save her! Please, rescue her! I'm begging you! I just want to see her smiling face again! Damn it! Same here. <laughs> How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? Damn. I'll beg. I'll scurry my head across the ground. Just please give him back! So, um... Manly tears. At the mm. very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe. For the moment at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did this has something else in mind for him. Something else? That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. 